All right, good day. Welcome, everybody. So this is going to be for Pisces, all right? Just a general reading for the Pisces Collective that I am channeling, that I am picking up on. All right, there's no specific message, just whatever you're calling out for. Maybe this will be your answer. I don't know. A lot of people put a lot of energy out into the collective. So we'll see what Spirit has to say. Because this is pretty much letting Spirit tell you what you need to hear. All right, so this is for the Pisces. Welcome any newcomers. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. All right, last shuffle here for the Pisces. All right, give me for the Pisces, please. Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles coming out. Who else got that? Is that Torin? And I think you showed up in Torin's Pisces. So the Ten of Pentacles is what's on your mind. Money, security, stability. All right. So we have the Two of Cups here. So you're trying to secure your future is what I'm getting here with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You're realizing what you need to do here. You've had a breakthrough. All right. Some of you, in a spiritual sense, you're connecting with your spirit guides. You're connecting with your ancestors. You're just connecting with the spirit world, the universe. All right. You're coming into what I want to consider like emotional bliss you're focusing on happiness emotional happiness you're focusing on a specific connection that whether it's a partnership whatever there's a lot of mutual respect here there's a lot of attraction here also there's a very strong bond here and you might be realizing this all right, so why are we, what, what, give me a little bit here, Spirit, on the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups for the Pisces. You might be connecting even more with the person that you may have a family with. You might have three children. There's three crows here. We have the four of pentacles but you're not really doing much at the moment here all right with the four of pentacles i kind of see that as but you're kind of holding back on what it is that you want we have another ace we have the ace of wands somebody else got that is it capricorn or was that leo can't remember um, but yeah, it's like you, you're, you want renewal. You want, you want this, you want passion, you want emotional stability and fulfillment and a be this beautiful connection here, but you're holding back on renewing this. All right. We got the emperor. So the emperor can be a little difficult to deal with. All right. So Pisces, I don't know if you're the emperor or if you're dealing with an emperor. You're doing a lot of thinking, though. I feel like you're doing a lot of withholding. You're thinking a lot. You could be dealing with the Virgo. It doesn't have to be. We got the Ace of Swords here. Okay, so you realized something. You realized something was a disappoint. Something disappointed you, or you were just feeling down. You were feeling sad of something that you may have walked away from or somebody that may have walked away from you and you're realizing you're realizing this you're realizing how empty and sad you feel because it's like you have a couple cups knocked over and the water is just emptying out of those cups but you're holding two more over here that are full you're realizing something you're having I don't know what exactly it is we have two eights here. We have the eight of cups and the eight of wands. So I feel like there was a lot of like, just it happened so fast. Either I, somebody either walked away fast or somebody walked away and then boom, communication just came in out of nowhere and now you don't know what to do. We got the eight of, yeah, see? You're indecisive on what to do here. Do you walk away? Do you move on? We have the page of wands. Could be, you know, walking away from 
something that you feel very passionate about something that you want to take this is like ass backwards energy see you are you so don't know what to do it's like you want a message you want to say something you want to take action but then you want to walk away too you're doing a lot of waiting you're doing a lot of thinking you're doing you're doing way too much of that pisces it isn't helping you make your decision all right so let's get this wrapped up what what is really going on here I feel like you're just trying to figure out where your destiny lies. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups here with the world. You're going to where you feel the most fulfilled. Where you have that emotional connection, that mutual respect. We got the heartbreak and separation, so I feel like regardless what, if you want a reunion with the Three of Cups, you're going to have to... Um, cut something out but let's see if we can figure out what is this here what do they need to cut out so we have the queen of cups could have to cut out a mother baby mama Give me a little bit more. You're, you're moving very slow here. We have the towards the temperance. Could be moving towards the Sagittarius that you want a new beginning with. All right. Somebody that you have a lot of emotion towards. Somebody that is aligned with your destiny. That That's somebody that... See, you do a lot of thinking when it comes to what you're going to do. You do a lot of thinking here. Just looking at the deck here. You're, you're so not sure. It's like, what to do? So from what Spirit is showing me here is you're going to slowly realize what decision you need to make. All right, we do have the water energy showing up here. I feel like you need to express your emotions because there's a lot of it here with the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups. I mean, there's so many cups here, Pisces. We have... The Five of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. I mean, that's a lot of energy. That's water, all right? So I feel like you just want harmony. You want peace in your life. You want, you want the life that you desire, and you have it right here. And Spirit is saying it's time to heal. It's time to find a middle path. It's time to merge your cups together and embark on this new journey and take this risk all right it's spirit guided so let's grab here a couple affirmation or self-care tips for the pisces for the pisces for the pisces so listen to your intuition pisces that's why all this water energy is showing up here because you're listening to your thoughts and not your intuition. All right, we have positive affirmations. Say positive things to bring positive things into your life. Maybe that's part of this breakthrough that you're going to get. All right, but it's time to really see things for what it is. It's time to get clarity and, you know, pay attention to the truth, the reality. Ground yourself. Then you're, when you ground yourself and the more you ground yourself, the more strong your intuition gets. All right, because you're rooting yourself with that, with Mother Earth's energy. Sync with the moon. All right, you can represent the moon in tarot also here, uh, Pisces. Take a bath, soak, do whatever you got to do to cleanse yourself, to get yourself rooted here. Because with the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Temperance here, and the Fool here, the Two of Cups, this is... This is something that you're rooted and connected to. I feel like you guys kind of go through phases for some reason. All right? Or maybe you go through phases like the moon does. All right? So I'm going to leave that there, Pisces. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.